Night time. Jade's Jenny Falls. Octagonia. Finally. You there. You're not from around here, are you? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. One traveler to another. Steer well clear of that city. It's in a right old state. The stories I've been hearing are enough to make your hair stand on end. Thanks for the warning, but I'm going in anyway. If the people there are suffering, I can't leave them to their fate. Things are bad enough these days without that. Blimey, there aren't many like you around. Most people are just out for themselves since you yourself fell. Well, good luck to you. You'll need it. I know I'm not alone in this. If you're still out there, you'll be doing exactly the same thing as me. And that's how I'm going to find you. You just have to keep looking. Oh, what a long trip. Oh wait, what was... No, go back. Shit. I saw something down below. And I'm really curious what that was. Monsters inside the city. Then the rumors were true. Who's talking? <laughs> Scrat! Insolent fool! How dare you defy us! Someone needs to clip your... Uh, needs to clip your wings! Teach you your place in the pecking order! Time to put an end to your hyper-annoying antics once and for all! Not so fast. Scrack! What the? I'd better shake a tail feather and tell Boogo about this. Th thanks. You you'd think I'd be able to look after myself, being a fighter and all. <laughs> You're into the whole mass martial arts thing too. Yeah, you made it all the way to the semifinals. Jade, wasn't it? Hmm. Picked a heck of a time to come back. What brings you to the town? I've been visiting places where people are in trouble, and destroying the monsters I find there. I heard that Octagonia had been overrun, so I came here as quickly as I could. What can you tell me about what's been going on? Well, we've had a pretty rough, tough. As soon as Yggdrasil fell, this creep called Booga showed up and took the place over, started using us humans as his slaves. Vince and the others were about to let monsters weren't about to let monsters take over our hometown without a fight, though. A bunch of them went out looking for the to take the guy down, but we've heard nothing since. In the end, it got so I couldn't bear just to stand by and watch things go to hell either. I had to try and do something, but, well, you saw how that worked out. Well, they won't be bullying the people of this town any longer. It's time someone taught this Booga character a lesson. Look, no offense, lady, but... He should be up in the old arena on the third level. I guess you know what you're doing, but just be careful, okay? Alright. An unsettling aura drifts from above. Proceed the stairs? Yes. Booger, I presume? Enslaver of innocence and all-around bully? I am he, mighty Booger, spectral sentinel, skull smasher, swoon inducer extraordinaire! And who might you be? Let me guess, another righteous warrior come to put an end to my wicked reign? Come on then, let's have a look at you! You, you're gorgeous! Hair as glossy as a great saber cat's coat, no flawlessly toned physique of a gigantic. Oh, yes, you're right up Booger's alley! 
We mustn't waste another moment. Please, say you'll be mine. Let me shower you with gushing lashings of affection every minute of every day. Forever and ever and ever. Ugh. I couldn't think of anything worse. Oh, just look at her angry face. It's even more adorable than her only mildly grumpy face. Soon. But you won't be able to stay mad at me forever. Especially not when you see what I've made you. Beloved, a token of my undying appreciation. I call it... The hair-raising suit. Oh, and it'll make your darling Booga Wooga very happy indeed to see you wear it. Not on your life. Darling, please. We've only just met. Try to control your urges. At least tell me your name before you start throwing yourself at me. Come on now. Be a good girl and put it on. If not for your sake, then for theirs. Ah! I've been known to get a little aggressive when I don't get my way. So what do you say, honey bun? A quick little change of clothes and a, is a small price to pay to stop these people suffering, no? I had to anyway, so yes. Just a palette change, right? Just a palette change. Oh, my! Just look at you! I knew you'd be a pretty picture in it, but... Oh, I could eat you up. Yo, kitty, how's it going? That's enough. I put on your stupid suit. Now be as good as your word and let these people go, so I can come over there and pummel you. Oh, I don't think so. No, I've changed my mind. Sorry, but I am very pleased to hear you want to spend some quality time with me. <laughs> Let's get rid of these hangers on first, shall we? Take everyone except me and the girl, will you, my love? Anything for you, my boogie woogie woo bags! You're disgusting. How could you? Say before we were finally alone, will you? My little plum dumpling. We just have to back up these people off into an interdimensional vortex, and you'll have me all to yourself. No! No, not you! Where do you think you're going? Ah! Where? Where am I? Please, I don't want to fight anymore. I, I'm sorry, okay? Please! Though, thou hast defied mighty Booga and must spend or pay thy penance, thou knowest the sentence. Ten thousand battles, no more, no less. Only then shalt thou be permitted to leave this place. <sighs> you animal! Can't you see he's had enough? He can't fight one more battle, let alone ten thousand. Stop it, please. You're only making it worse. Worse? What do you mean? Tis plain thou art new to this place. Fear not, child. His life, at least, shall be spared. Just... But the commandments of Booga must be obeyed. Those who defy him must remain in limbo and fight until they have learned their lesson. Now, stand aside and let justice be done. Thine own day of judgment shall come to pass soon enough. I don't know what you people are doing here, but it stops now. Please, you have to listen to me. The more you try to fight them, the worse it'll get. Forget about me, okay? 
you really want to help? Go help those who need it most. Uh, some of these guys, some of the guys they're keeping down there, they're getting it way worse than me. Fine, if you insist. Bye! Uh, also one of these guys actually someone who saved my progress? Might be this guy, actually. Nope, okay. Special medicine... Oh! Oh, I can't keep... I can't take this off, can I? No, okay. Um, glad to see I have the lightning staff still... I see Vince. You were all in the tournament. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Just about. Oh god, I gotta get. I gotta get my uh, my bro back on. <laughs> Just about. You wound up here too. Down here too, huh? Can't nobody catch a break lately. So you're the ones who went off to beat Booga and never came back. What exactly happened? Not a whole lot. We tried to take the guy down, and he sent us here. Limbu, they call it. No one's allowed to leave until they paid for us for standing up to him by learning their lesson. Which means trooping in one by one to fight monster after monster, and no matter how bad it gets, you can't tap out. But that's... that's just awful. The whole sordid little operation is run by a horrid fiend by the name of Boudica. She brought us all here, and no one's made it out since. Unless somebody does something about her, we'll be stuck here forever, doomed to an eternity of terror, never knowing who might be called up next. That's no kind of life. But you can't give up hope. If what you just said is true, then all we have to do is take care of this Boudica, and we can all go home. Can't give up hope? Ha! <laughs> You're having a bit of a laugh, darling. <clears throat> We ain't had none of that in here for a long a while. Going after Boudicca will only make things worse for us all. Is that what you want? Nah. Best thing we can do is keep our heads down and wait for him to get bored and let us go. We don't need none of your rogues, alright? You'll leave it alone if you know what's good for ya. You can't, you can't think like that. If you do, nothing will ever change. If we don't stand up and... Look, hon. We've all heard the rumors, okay, about the Darkspawn, and how he caused the Lord of Shadows to come and wreck the world, and how a certain young fighter just happens to be one of the Darkspawn's bosom buddies. You really expect us to listen to you? Uh, I... <sighs> oh, right. It's time to lock horns with some more monsters. You, get moving. It's your time to pay off some of your debt to Booga. No, 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 please, please, I don't want to. I can't. Never mind him. If it's a fight you're after, I'll be more than happy to oblige. <laughs> oh, what fun! I do love them when they're new enough to still have some fire in their bellies. Lady Boudicca? I bet you thought I didn't notice you up there, hmm? Making eyes at my booga wooga. Well, I did! Luckily for you, we have an extra special punishment for little madams who don't know their place. It's called the Gilly Billy. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> you really gotta done it now. So long, kiddo. It was nice knowing you. Hmm. Don't be so sure. You may have given up hope, but I'm not about to. Girly barely time. I could have swore he did some saving. No, nope. somebody saves. Right? Nope, okay. 
well, worm. Art thou suitably prepared? Will thou take the field and cross swords with Monsterkind's finest in the tourney to end all tourneys? Thou art ready to undergo the girly burly? <laughs> it's been ages since the glass girly burly. Uh. Fee upon thee, humans! May Limbo be thy grave! Look, she won't bat in the tournament. Well, this is a different kettle of fish. She don't stand a chance out there. <sighs> huh? What? What's happened? Welcome, lovelies, one and all. Before you stands a little upstart who thought she'd play the hero. How's that working out for you, dearie? Hmm? <laughs> It's time to show this cocky little creature who really rules the world these days. It's time for the girly belly. The monsters make us suffer. They ain't girlies. Um. I mean, I don't even know if this is the best. Uh, we should probably just take them out one by one, right? Right. Also, what am I equipped with? Eh, let's just take them out. This is when I ha wish I had multi-thrust. Okay, let's see if this is a good idea. After two hits, will it kill it? Yay! No spells, oh no! I maybe should have healed myself, but well. <laughs> you have spirit! I will grant you that! But we have barely even begun! I should have healed myself. I forget, should I? I can't remember if this is something I have to lose at. I guess we'll find out. I don't remember. If that helps. Um, oh crap. That basically did nothing except waste a turn, so let's kill these guys. <laughs> okay, now we heal. I definitely feel like I'm eventually going to lose this, so... Oh well. Did I even get experience after the last time? After the last battle? Humans, and we can't wait to hear you scream. I'm, I'm not getting any. Yeah. No healing left. Not getting any experience. This is probably something I have to lose. losing in this chapter. That's right. Oh, I just wasted my uh, my healing. I mean, story-wise, it makes sense. Because they're the, you're there to suffer, so of course you're just going to get brought back to life every single time. So story-wise, it makes sense. Is that... 
I don't know what all the fuss was about. I don't believe it! She's made it through the girly burly! How did she do that? Anyone else would have given up by now. Ah, you're so annoying! You weren't supposed to actually survive! Well, sometimes a girl needs to something doing. She just has to do it herself! Hi! Ow. See, they make this monster motion. How come they can't make the other monster? Oh, okay. I'll stop complaining. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that ain't right. She just fought off a massive order of monsters. Now at least give her a chance to catch her breath. Oh, boo ho ho ho! Do you really think I was gonna make that. make this fight a fair fight? Honestly, one little resentment for my booga is she thinks she's queen of everything! Don't let it get to your head, dear! My boo only has eyes for one woman! And she outshines you in every arena! Looks? Ha! Style? Not even close! Muscle? Ha 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 ha! Yes, look at you! What? You think that's it? I'm just getting started. Oh, you think you're so tough, do you? Well, you've asked for it now, Missy! Lambu's about to introduce a new punishment! Death! Jade, stop! Just stay down, you hear? Keep fighting and you'll die. That ain't no use to anybody. Quit now while you still can. If I stop now, then you really will all give up hope. Not while I'm still breathing. Too many people have given up already, and who can blame them? The world's fallen apart around them. But I'm not about to do the same. My friends are still out there, and they'll never give up. I know it. They give me strength to keep going on. A light in the darkness. I have to keep that light alive. I'll keep getting up, no matter how many times you knock me down. I'll never let that light die. Oh, a lot of dramatic zooms in the, this part, or these sections. Ha! <laughs> I know your game! But it's gonna take a lot more than a little scratch to make my boo stop loving me! Vince. You're right, Jade. With all the stuff that was going down, we lost sight of the most important thing, hope. That light you talked about? Mine is those kids back in the orphanage. I won't stay down either. Not until I finally make it back to them. We got you back and all, Jade. What kind of big tough warriors would we be if we didn't, eh? Yay! Hey, listen. I'm sorry about what I said before, okay? I'm on board with all the light and hope stuff, too. There's gotta be something still worth fighting for in this world, right? Alright, everyone. Let's finish Boudicca off, and then get out of here and take care of her boyfriend. It's time to bring back hope to Octagonia. Limbo's too good for the likes of you, filthy humans! You're all going straight to hell! Yo, does no problem. Stop apologizing. There's nothing to apologize for. Nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh oh. Hopefully that starburst throw can take care of the other guy. I might just, or I might just go back and forth. Or they have more life than I thought. <laughs> oh my god, somebody heal me, please. Boom. Go, Underdigger. Someone wanna heal me? Someone wanna heal me? Yeah. 
Yeah, and there's no death in this chapter. It's a little cheap. A little cheap, but whatever. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, there is a death. It's gonna be hers. Dirty girl, you. Uh, no, I would not. <laughs> That's a good point. That was quick. Ah, uh, sure. Have I been hoarding a bit? Ten. Let's increase that agility. Looks like it needs it a bit. Bye-bye, <laughs> Boudica. This is not looking good. We need to get out of here fast. Look, Octagonia. It's our only chance. Quickly, everyone. What? 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 That burly girl better not be roughing up my bunnykins! Ah, my eyes! Huh? Did we? Man, we made it! We're back home! Woo ya! Wait. We can't start celebrating just yet. We've got one last battle to fight. Octagonia won't be safe until we've dealt with Booga. Let's do this! Ugh. Jade, you okay? You kinda hate how this ends? Why is that? <laughs> My little bunny rabbit is finally opt home to daddy. I wonder when that pseudo line would finally work its magic. Oh, we've got so much to look forward to. You're mine. All oh, mine. We're going to be together forevermore. <coughs> <coughs> oh, these monster voices kill. We'll write each other love letters, maybe even, dare I say, old hands. Oh, it's all so romantic. No. Never. Drink some water? Okay. Ah, water. Yay, makes new acquaintance! Yay! Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just plow right through these, aren't we? Ugh. What happened? Am I still alive? I... I remember the Tree of Life and the Lord of Shadows. I can't be the only one who made it, right? Right? Mm, not good. I'm not exactly in the best shape for a jailbreak. It's not a jail. It's a monster's lair. Uh, hey, where'd you get off sneaking up on people like that? Don't worry. I'm not a bad slime. I promise. Oh, dear. It looks like you're a little battered and bruised. But I can help. Here you go. Whee! Whoa, you you healed me. What kind of slime goes around appearing out of nowhere and healing humans? It's kind of slime. My name's Elijah. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay, sure. Well, whatever. If you're as good as a monster as you say you are, maybe you can help me. Have you seen my buddy any buddies anywhere? Who is that? Your friends? You mean other goons? Nope, you're the only one here. But you want to go and find them, do you? All right, follow me. That's a that, that's a talent. He has he has open as well. Uh, he's helping me escape. Maybe he really is one of the good guys. Well, I'm not about to look a gift horse in the mouth. Guess I got a new friend, a new acquaintance. You have a new acquaintance. That's the name, Eric. I think they grabbed all your stuff off you when they caught you. But fear not, 
I've got some great news! Look what I found! Whoa, my stuff! Maybe you really aren't a bad slime after all. Oh, wow. That must have all happened during the, uh... The Jade Times. Steel Broadsword. Why? I don't know. I forgot this battle music carries through the whole time. Or at least in here. Uh, what do I have? Oh, yeah. I'm a double wielder. See that. Oh look! Biggie just slept through here! Wanna give it a go? Ah, oh, bats! I can't seriously believe I forgot which treasure chests the keys in! God, I can't believe you've forgotten again, bat brain! It's in the chest in the middle of the of course. Can't you run on your wing or something? How very useful, useful. Go away! Look at all these treasure chests! They're sure to be oozing with loot! Hmm. Looks too good to be true to me. Got a feeling the good stuff's going to be in one chest and the others will all be trapped. Gosh! It sounds like this isn't your first slime in this sort of situation. Yep. And when you've been a thief as long as I have, you get a sixth sense for this kind of stuff. Gee, which one? Has a lot of MP. You obtained the key. Go away! A key! But what's it for? Something important, I'll bet. Like opening a door. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's see what we can find. Man, neither of these two are that observant. You know, we already tried picking at a door. Just saying. Heh. <laughs> Another escape from an underground prison, huh? Takes me back to the good old days when we bust out of Heliodor Castle. <sighs> Hope he's doing okay, wherever he is. Who are you talking about? Sounds like someone who's very important to you. Long story. Anyway, let's blow this joint. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Can I kill them? What? What's so stupid I've been doing here? Wait, you must have escaped! If Lord and Dingus finds out about this, he'll have our guts for garters! Sorry, nothing personal! Never played. Shocker, I know. Hey, was I asleep? Easy does it! There are two tough looking monsters up ahead! Hey, why so jumpy? Don't worry, I'll watch my step. See? I told you! Two great big ugly monsters right up, right up ahead! Yeah, I see them. I don't know if you heard, but apparently Lord and Dingus has been smashing it! He most certainly has. He taught the what's this a lesson? Or though I heard attack the villain, the descendant class to the ground. Watchers, never heard of them. Any idea what they're talking about? Never mind. There'll be time for that later. We need to get these guys out of the way. At this point in the story, we had already encountered them. Aren't they the the cute looking dudes? The little Three foot cute looking dudes. Oh, oh, I got an idea. Why don't we do this? You just 
kiss me three times? It's terrible! Awful! A complete splatastrophe! Uh, have you gone potty? That's who I do anyway. I've never seen you down here before. Uh, you, you. How did you manage to break out? Uh. Uh, I wanted to fight fight them. <laughs> Great work, Eric! Wait, how do you know my name? I think you and me need to have a little talk. But I'll have to wait for now. Come on. Let's get going! Door is locked, shocker! Huh? Great. Going in there looking for a fight would be suicide. Damn it. What do we do now? You can't just goo giving up like that. What would your sister think? Wait a second. You're talking about my sister now? Not that she'd be in a position to think much of anything. Hmm. You don't remember telling me about her? I suppose it must have been a while ago. What are you talking about? I only just met you, remember? Um, anyway, this is no slime to be dithering. We need to look for another way out of here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> You're a slippery customer, all right? But don't worry, I'll get to the truth about you eventually. By the end of this chapter. Oh uh, yeah. This place is cool. I'm really liking this place. <laughs> that uh. That column. Look like a really weird smile. Oh, that smile, that's what I was talking about. This is for an item. What the? Wait! Oh, stop laughing! It's not funny. They're not funny. Ah! Uh, fine. Okay, when I have no way to hit every every monster. These guys suck without anybody else. Something. Superior medicine. My medicine is superior than yours. I mean, keep them coming. Elijah. Elijah Goose. Elijah Goose. Elijah Goode. Oh, that was the correct way. I thought that was a door entrance not the other time around. I don't want to battle you. Ow! Ow! What 
Wait. Okay. Guess I couldn't have ran. I was laughing, but whatever. Where's my goofy? There it is. Oh boy. Heal away, Elijah Wood. Oh, hell yeah. Thingamies. Thingamies. Hmm. But this one's not working. Let's see what's going on with this, shall we? Interesting. Don't worry, it's not broken. With a little bit of my extra special magic, it'll be all systems goo and no slime. Well, it might take a minute or two. Just wait there, okay? Oh yeah, uh, convenient magic is convenient. <laughs> There they are! Copper reinforcements! We found our runaways! <clears throat> yeah! They caught up with us! Can you shake a tentacle and get that thing moving? I'm trying! I'm trying! I can't goo any faster! Yeah, never never force a guy to goo faster. Like sometimes it's just not happening. Life lesson. Please just hold him off for a little while, will you? Uh, should we use a strong medicine? Yeah, let's at least use a strong medicine. Yeah. We're under strict orders not to let you escape, and I'm in no, I'm not in any mood to disobey. Come quietly, or you'll regret it. Mabonga. Much easier this time around, I feel like. Double winning swords. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was rough last time with a with a boomerang. Oh my goodness! Are you alright? Yeah, let me help you! Thank you. There's plenty more monsters where that came from! You'll have to keep fighting them off until I can get this contraption going! You stupid Hillman! You really thought you could escape? We are going to beat you to smither and senseless and fling you back to your cell! That's who that was. How did you not die that turn? No, oh, that's good. That's nice. I, I could have swore I round or one round shot at them both times. Like, oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Oh my God, it's here, right? <laughs> I don't know how you escaped, but this is as far as you go! Now before I lock you up again, you're... We're gonna make you suffer! Peace! Not one shutting the not one shutting this gremlin suck. <laughs> yeah. I think I know <laughs> I think I know what you mean, but don't bump Shh. I figured that's what you meant. <laughs> but don't bump Shh. Great, you 
It worked! This thing's full to the brim with magic again! Come on, Eric! Climb aboard! Gee, more, I, I mean, I got a drink for all the convenient treasure jobs and treasure chests and everything. That's a, Those are very convenient treasure chests. Heh! Oh, heh. Not bad, little guy. Aha! I told you I'm a good slime. Really? But things would have gotten sticky if you hadn't been there to keep the monsters at bay. Hmm. This place looks different to where we were before. Let's go and see if we can find a way out, shall we? Oh. Okay. Actually, less convenient than I thought, because... This wasn't what I was expecting. Wait a second! Isn't this that great big room that was oozing with monsters earlier? It looks like we can go that way! Come on! There's no slime to lose! But first... The disturbing turban. Um, yeah. Hi! I had to say hi, I didn't want to be rude. Oh, there must be more powerful grublins in the boss battle. A doi. A doi doi. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. They were quite grumbling. Divya medicine. Coming up here? Yeah. There's, a, there's no point in even unlocking that door over there, because that's exactly where that was going. Oh, that's cool. I kind of want to use this for something. Having a wide open, like, 16 bit background style like that, I want to use that for something. Wait, what? We were up in the sky the whole time? So how do we get down? Something tells me this isn't a jump we're going to survive. Look! Over there! There's a path going up to the top! Ah! Gah! What now? Yellow! Kneel before indignous mortal, spectral sentinel and servant of the Lord of Shadows. It is I who imprisoned you, intending to offer you up to my master, but I see that you have other ideas. You have done well to make it this far, quite a feat for a mere human, but you will go no further. Seize him! We cannot suffer an accomplice of the Luminary to remain at large. The time of darkness has arrived, and no light shall be allowed to return. All who oppose the Lord of Shadows will be destroyed! Hi guys! How's it going? You can go ahead and beat me up all you want, because I'm sure that's what's going to happen. Keep it coming, keep it coming. A little faster now. Beyond the beyond, breathtaking backgrounds? Okay. Good enough. Whoa! <sighs> Looks like the end of the road. Damn it. If only there was some way out. Oh, I just drank all my beer, because obviously there's a very convenient way out coming up. There is one way. 
Huh? Elijah? He Elijah? Is that you? Where are you? It is me, but also not me. You have known me for longer than you think. One day you shall meet the luminary somewhere deep underground, and if you help him, you shall be forgiven. You know those words, don't you? Wait, that's... I can lend you the power to escape your predicament. A great power, but a power you may use just this once. And in return, I will have to take from you that which you treasure most. So tell me, what might that be? His friends. His friends matter most. Of course, your memories of your brothers and sisters in arms, precious treasures indeed, but I will have to strip you of them. There is no other way. Do what you have to do. I need that power. Memories aren't much good to me dead. Better to live and make new ones. I won't let this end here. I can't. Then the power is yours. Ha ha ha! He has accepted his fate at last. Seize him! Oh, this should be cool. More dramatic zoom-ins! I, I honestly love this use of camera in these extra sections. And I feel like the reason they're, they're doing it right here is because they weren't in the original 2D mode on uh, the 3DS version in Japan. Indignus Dragon Armor? Why specify Dragon Armor? I don't know. Boom! Boom! Holy moly. This battle's just a giant fuck you. <laughs> Fuck any sort of difficulty in this section. No, not now. I, I said I'm not done. I didn't. I'm not hitting any of these. That was weird. Is my controller like freaking out? I'm not pressing any buttons. Sorry for skipping all that, but I seriously did not push any buttons. You did it, Eric. You're safe now. I'm not pushing the buttons. What's going on? You knew me as the seer, as do all the people of your world. There we go. That was weird. It's not like they top. Maybe it is timed. I'm not pushing anything. But even my power has its limits. Forgive me. It must be timed. Yeah, I'm not pushing a single thing. Yeah, suddenly auto-scrolling for some reason. See, this right here is why I kind of wish they made the 2D mode a little more Octopath travel-y. I'm sticking with that. Because um, there's still a way to make 16-bit style games look pretty sexy updated. And Octopath Traveler obviously was how to do it. And they could totally do that with Dragon Quest, a franchise who is all about nostalgia. Remember, where there is life, there is hope. Farewell. What a blooming babbler! There's nothing like a massive great tree falling out of the sky to mess things up good and proper. Talk about the long way around. Yeah, I'm back in control. Crikey! That bloke don't look too steady on his feet. You all right, mate? I... I don't know. I don't even know who I am. All I know is... I was on a journey with... someone. But who? Exactly. Up updated 16-bit style is fantastic. And people need to keep doing more of it. Oh, I gotta get my Scottish on. Oh boy. Ugh. Huh? What? 
Where am I? How did I get here? I cannot remember a thing. Jinx! Is that? No, it cannot be. It is! It's her! Fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest, it lodges life. Not even the first clue what's going around, on around these parts, but I reckon I could do worse than ask our lassie here. Well, Rob, what are you waiting for? She'll not hang around forever while you plucked up what little courage you have left. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> That's a Savannah thing. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Have you a moment to spare f for a sweet, harmless old man, then? It's quick and sweet. Oh. So this one is very, very, very text-heavy, so I might, like, take moments to kind of jet along. Eh? What just happened? That cannot be. B but it's... It's done, Jazil. Just as it once was. <laughs> Looking sharp, your majesty. M my old robes. But, but how? What in the world is going on? What do you care to enlighten me, lassie? Walk this way! Talk this way! My bunny and pal headed off in the direction of the throne room. Assuming this is the real dangerous of castle, that is. Well, that's a good place to be headed for, I suppose. I'll see what the folks on the way have to say for themselves. Nope. Um, nope, nope. Eh, nope, nope. Eh, nope, nope. Eh. Ah, oh, there you are, your majesty. I've been looking everywhere for you, er, for you everywhere. You must remember me telling you that you had an important audience scheduled. It's almost time. Hurry on over to your throne and prepare yourself. I had to do it. I knew that was coming. I had to do it anyways. But, but... I trust you are well, father. Eleanor. Owen. It, it really is you. And, and you're young again. What's going on? Your, your Majesty, please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the Princess's Honor Guard, but as my own man. What? Well, I mean, uh, very well. State your business. Well, you see, the, the thing is, I... I wish to ask your daughter's hand in marriage. Owen! And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position. Nevertheless, I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter, not as head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband? Please. Ugh, I can hardly turn you down after that little performance, can I, laddie? To tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, father. It's up to you now, Edwin. Don't disappoint me, you hear? Th thank you, your majesty. Thank you. Where'd you spring from, lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet. There you are, Lord Robert. I was hoping I might have the chance to speak with you about something before the child was born. Before the child was born? Oh, well... Oh, so it's the day of my grandson's birth, is it? Now there's a thing. Your, your Majesty? Sorry, lad. He was saying there was something you wanted to discuss. Aye. It's the child's name. I've been having trouble thinking of anything suitable. 
So much trouble that has been distracting me from everything else, if I'm honest. I was wondering if you might see your way to reprise your, reprising your role as king for a wee while, so I can have some time to think it over. Thank you. Thank you so much. You'll not have much to do, I promise. There are just two items on the agenda for today. The first is something you're more than used to. Receiving those who seek a royal audience and giving them counsel. The chief minister will be on hand to help you with the most pressing issues. The second is to make the rounds of the castle and assist anyone who needs your aid. The idea of the king aiding his subjects directly was, of course, something you yourself initiated during your reign. I'll be by the fountain downstairs. It's where I do my best thinking. Once you've taken care of the day's business, please come find me. I'm truly grateful to you to agreeing to do this. Uh, well, this is the wordy part that I really want to skip, so let's just see if I can go talk to him now. Ah, Lord Robert, your timing is almost uncanny. I think I can. I've just this second managed to come up with the perfect name for our new baby at last. Without you, I wouldn't have had time to properly mull it over. 30 seconds, or not even, was perfect. You've no idea how much of a help you've been. Since we both finished our business for the day, yes, yes we have. Why don't we head back to the throne room and wait for the good news? Your Majesty, Lord Robert, the new arrival is here. W what? Already? Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. A boy. Look, Owen. Look, Owen. Ah, oh, he's a fine wee chappy. And what a set of lungs. We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place down. We were wondering what you thought about Edric. Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds clever and brave and... Yes. But I've rather set my heart on someone, something else, you know? What do you think of Hawkeye? I think it's great, your majesty. That was the same cry for Dragon Quest V, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, well, it, it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be my first choice. But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this babe, beautiful boy. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... Hawkeye. It's got a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Now, why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Goo goo ga ga! Hello, wee one. I'm your grandpa. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> what the? What the? Having fun? How are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real. Is that me, or was that motion really odd? Why is it so quiet? Oh, shut your face, you. Fine. We shall, we shall wire up. Why is it so quiet? Where did everybody go? They kind of left without telling me, can't they? What's all this then? Happy birthday, Grandpa! Get away! It's... it's you! <laughs> Surprise! You didn't suspect a thing, did you? We all worked extra hard to keep it a secret.
Happy birthday, Lord Robert. We had Gondolia's finest pastor, pasters working day and night on your cake here. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. May you live a long and joyful life watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. Oh, ye, ye shouldn't have... Congratulations, Your Highness. The people of Dundrazil are internally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Hear, hear, and we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Owen, too. Oh, that's my boys. How did he not see all those people clearly not hiding behind the cake? I. And a great big happy birthday to ye from all the lads and lassies doing in the tavern, eh? I don't think a lord's going to a tavern. <laughs> Did I forget to send word of your new addition or two to the royal collection of uh, um, gentlemen's periodicals, will ye, big man? My people. Oh, how I love them. You're not crying, are you, Grandpa? Is something the matter? No, laddie. Everything's perfect. Just perfect. Come on, Grandpa. Follow me. Everyone loves you, Grandpa. All of these scholars were telling me how clever you are. You're amazing. Ugh, get away with ye. I don't want to get a big head. But it wouldn't be a bad idea for ye to mix with those bookish types, Arkai. A king has to know a lot of things. I'll show you, Grandpa. I'm going to study hard until I know as much as you do. Now let's go over here. Come on, Grandpa. Wow, are they real circus performers, Grandpa? I've only read or ever read about them. Oh, that is right, laddie. Well, we all need to take a trip to the Colopolis and visit the Big Top. It's quite something, let me tell you. Yay, can we really go? Promise? Aye, that's a promise. Yay, now let's go this way. Uh, yeah, true. I don't know, it's been so long. The silent protagonist for Dragon Quest has been so long that I don't think they'll ever get rid of it, and I'm okay with that. Wow, look at his muscles. He looks so strong. I want to look like that one day. You never will. Well, I I, I didn't know if you'll ever look quite like that. But you'll be tough, all right. You're my grandson, after all, and I'm no pushover. Yay! I can't wait to grow up and be big and strong just like you, Grandpa. We'll protect everyone in Dundrazil. You, and me, and Dad. It's been a lot, lots of fun walking around with you, Grandpa. But I'm getting hungry. I know. How about a slice of cake? It was my idea to have the biggest birthday cake ever. So Dundrazil hasn't been destroyed. And Eleanor and Owen are living here happily with their boy. Well, whatever this place is... Whatever's going on, I know it cannot be real. It's the Nexus from Star Trek Generations. This is the Nexus. But by golly, I could stay here forever. <laughs> oh, a poor wee soul just falling down. <laughs> oh, there, there, wee man. There's no need for that. Or the plant from Justice League Unlimited. That one goes over my head. That's it. It's all coming back to me. We were defeated. And then the darkness came. When I awoke, I was all alone. I prayed that my pals were still alive. But I knew I couldn't rely on that. So I set out to find a new way of taking on the Lord of Shadows by myself. So yes, I sought out Grandmaster Pang. I was trying to convince her to train me, but but that means all this must be... What's the matter, Grandpa? I'm sorry, laddie. I'm somewhere I need to be. Things I need to be doing. What? You mean you're leaving? Aye, that's right. I hate to go, 
Really, I do. But maybe one day you'll understand. You be a good boy now. Something tells me you'll do just fine. Got it. What's the matter, Your Majesty? You aren't seriously about to leave a party in full swing, are you? Boundless happiness awaits you here, you know. Joy, laughter, and all manner of wonderful surprises. Are you really willing to leave it behind? I can give you what you want, Your Majesty. But can I ask why you want it? Because I have more important things to be doing. As a world be Need saving while I'm dallying here in Dreamland, lovely as it is. I should be toughening up, not going soft in the head. I need to be grit with Grandma Sapang, learning how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. And I need ye to take me to her right now. After all the effort I went to, honestly, do you think I like dressing up like a bunny at Bimbo? Grandma Sapang! You cannot be serious! It was you all along! Wait, this is... When bright brand bores through heaven's doors, the sun shall rise over darkened skies and banish night with holy light. Was this at the very beginning of the game? Welcome to the place where lost souls gather, the place between worlds. This is the void, and you are courageous indeed to have ventured here. Not all of my students would dare. It is not in the sea yet again, Grandmaster. Contentment is complacency, happiness is inertia. You did well to refuse his temptations. So it was all a test then. Indeed it was, but you were not deceived by my illusions. You were not seduced by the fantasy of an easy escape. It's a start. Yes, pass with flying colors. So you'll train me then, eh? <laughs> you still have not learned to listen, I see. I said it was a start. There is work to be done yet if you are to prove yourself wor truly worthy. You what? You must show me that you have not been neglectful in your training. That you have been diligent in your daily practice, and there's only one way to truly make sure of that. Not the naughty stick! And you've taken to wielding two of them, I see! Oh, Crivens, I'll not get out of this without a bruise or two. But if that's what it takes, then so be it. Do your worst! Naughty stick! Naughty stick! Very Naughty stick! Yeah! Naughty stick, yeah! Naughty stick, yeah! Well, I just... I'm never gonna unhear, unhear that now. Ah! Er. Whoa! She did something to enthrall me. I, I I thought I saw something saying massage. Could be mistaken. Hmm. Okay, spell resistance increase. Samples now. Eh, that's still pretty good, but what does an attack look like? Well, that helps. No! Since you're dazzled, might as well. Ha boom! You know, for a monster that looks pretty big and threatening in 3D, it looks like a cute little pony in 2D. Such a cute little pony in 2D. She's ready to strike. Uh, I forget what that is, so.
naughty stick, yeah. A naughty stick, yeah. Naughty stick, yeah. I'm sure they can, but they're such a cute little pony, Judy. Thank you. Ah, uh, just in case. Better safe than sorry. <sighs> Perhaps you have not been as lazy as I feared, but you are still not ready. Oh, wait, I... Still, your resolve is clear. You have shown me how much you are willing to endure in order to take on the Lord of Shadows. Perhaps you are as ready as you'll ever be. You're serious? You mean it's time? It is. You will be trained in the most closely guarded secrets of our art. But were you to undergo the full course of study, the physical body you have left behind and wi would wither and die. As such, your training must be accelerated, and the work of years condensed into mere days. But it will not be easy. Are you ready to open the gates of hell and see what lies beyond? You had better be. You bet I am. I'm the best teacher. Oh, I'm suddenly in the dove mode. You bet I am. I have the best teacher there is to guide me, and I'll gladly follow her to wherever she leads me. I am very happy to hear it. By the way, the whole bunny girl thing, you were more than a might convincing Grandmaster Peng, I have to say. Stop flirting with your teacher! I could have sworn you swanned it straight off of the cover of the vintage issue of the Oculus Digest. Hmm, there is more to me than meets the eye, you know. I too was young once upon a time. Hang on a minute. What do you mean by that exactly? Do not question your master. You have training to be doing. We will make it easy to begin with 10,000 press ups on your knuckles. 10,000? Oh, yeah. Uh. Hey. That be that. That went much quicker than 3D mode. Much, much quicker. Now, granted, I knew what I was doing, but still. Mm -hmm.